Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 3.27. So the question is use nodal analysis to determine voltages V1, V2, and V3 in the circuit of figure 3.76. So this is the circuit and we are asked to find out what is V1 and then what is V2 and then what is V3. And we are given that this is the reference node so the voltage here will be zero. Okay, and now we have one Siemens, one Siemens here. Remember, this is conductance and not resistance. So we need uh, another version of Ohm's law. So remember that I is equal to V divided by R. But then that will be V multiplied by 1 over R. However, 1 over R is actually the conductance. So therefore, I is just the conductance multiplied by the voltage so remember this when doing nodal analysis okay so now let's assume the direction of the current here let's assume this will go in into v1 and this will go out this will also go out and this also i just follow this direction of the arrow and then i also assume this going to the right this is going down, this is going to the right, and this is going down, and finally this is going into V3. Okay, now let's start with doing KCL at the node V1. KCL at node V1. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay. The only current that goes in is this one, and I have the value of 2 ampere there, okay? And then let's start from this one here. I have 4 Siemens, so I will have 4 multiplied by V1 minus V3, right? Because that is the not this not and that not. And then what else? Plus, and I have 3 I0. So I will have plus 3 multiplied by I0. And then what else? I have this one here, which is plus 1. Then multiplied by uh, V1 minus V2, right? So I will have V1 minus V2. And then what else? This one here, I will have 2. Then multiplied by V1. Okay, now let's do some math from here. I think I just want to leave it alone here or let's open it. So I will have 4 V1 minus 4 V3 and then plus 3 I0. What is I0? So I0 is 4 multiplied by V2 minus 0. So I will have 3 multiplied by 4 and then multiplied by V2 minus 0. And then 1 plus V1 minus V2, I will just write it as V1 minus V2. And then I will have that to V1. Okay, I think that's all good now. And this will be 12 V2, right? So I will have 2 here. And then for V1, I will have 4 plus 1 plus 2. I will have 7 V1, right? And then for V2, I will have 12 V2 and then minus 1. So I will have plus 11 V2. And finally, for V3, I only have it from here. So I will have minus 4 V3. Or we can write it 7 V1 plus 11 V2 minus 4 V3 is equal to 2. Let's save this as equation number 1. Okay, we need three equations because we have V1, V2, and V3. Okay, let's move on to KCL at node V2. Let's do exactly that. KCL at node V2. Okay, the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out at V2. Okay, let's start from this current here. 
So I will have one Siemens multiplied by T1 minus T2, right? One multiplied by T1 minus T2. And then the, all the other currents is going out. This one is going out. That one is going out. Let's start from this one here. And I will have 4 multiplied by T2 minus 0. So I will have 4 T2 minus 0. And then what else? This one here. So I will have 1 multiplied by T2 minus T2. 1 multiplied by T2 minus T2. Okay, all good from here. Let's do some math here. T1 minus V2. That will equal to 4 V2. And then plus V2 minus V3. Okay, so I will have 5 V2 here. So let's move it to the left hand side. So I will have V1 minus minus 1 minus 5. So I will have minus 6. V2 and then plus V3. All of that will equal to 0. Okay, let's save that as equation number 1. Now that we have two equation, we still need one more equation from this note here. Okay, maybe let's clean up the board first and work with KCL at node V3. Okay, so far we got this and now let's do the last KCL which is KCL at V3. KCL at V3. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, uh, there are three currents that goes in. One, two, three. Oh, there are four currents that goes in. So let's do it one by one. The first one is this one. So I will have four multiplied by T1 minus V3. And then this current here, so I will have plus 3i0. And then from here, I will have plus 1 t2 minus v3. Okay. And then I will have this one. So I will have plus 4 ampere. Okay. And then on the right hand side, I will have 2 multiplied by v3 minus 0. So I will have 2 t3 minus 0. Okay, so now let's do some mathematics from here. So I will have 4v1 minus 4v3 and then plus 3i0. But what is i0? i0 is here. So I will have 3 multiplied by 4 t2 minus 0 or just t2. Okay, and then I will have plus t2 minus v3 and then plus 4 and I will have that will equal to 2 v3. Okay, now let's do some analysis here. v1 only comes from here, so I will have 4 v1 and then v2 comes from 12 here. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13 and then only that, right? So I will have plus 13 v2 okay and now I will have minus 4 minus 1 so I will have minus 5 but still I have minus 2 minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7 v3 okay and then all of that will equal to minus 4 okay now we have three equation with three variables so we'll have 1 2 and 3 we should be able to solve all of this, right, by using calculator. Okay, let's do exactly that. So let's set up our calculator as equation solver, which is number 5. And three variables is number 2. And let's plug in the coefficient. So I will have 7, 11, then minus 4, and then 2, and then 1, and then minus 6. And then I will have 1, and then 0, and then I will have 4, and then 13, and then minus 7, and then minus 4. OK, 
Okay, I will have the P1 is 0 0.625. So we will have P1 is equal to 0 0.625. The unit here will be volt, right? So I will have P2 is the Y value. Where is my calculator? So I will have 0 0.375. And the unit here will be volt. And what is V3? V3 is the Z value, which is 1.625 volt. I think that is a quite nice number. And I think that's all for this problem. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.